Hey everyone, welcome to this um, quick tutorial on how to create a black hole in Blender. Um, so this is hopefully what we'll be uh, making. It should be relatively quick as well. So what we want to do, start a new scene. Let's just delete everything. I'm going to turn that into the shader editor. First thing we'll just set up the environment. So we'll do the background. Yeah. I'll put a link in the description where I found this um, HDR. Here we go to render view. Just make sure we've got uh, cycles. So with Node Wrangler enabled, we just Control T, click on that, and later on we can use that to to move it around. It does uh, stutter slightly if you go in EV to the lot of scale rotation. There we go. You can move it around. And just because I'm going for a bit more of a, a stylized look, human saturation. That's a one, saturation is four. So that's for the world. So for the, the black hole itself, what we want to do is add a UV sphere. Go to object, can new shader, color black hole. Uh, we're not going to need the, the principled shader for this. I'm just going to use the direction. Put that straight into surface. And into the index of the uh, reflection, I'm going to put in the layer. Right. Into our color ramp. To go face in. Into yeah. a math node and divide that. Select into object properties, uh, viewport display, on visibility, turn off everything off the cameras. I can mess around with the size of the black hole itself. So, to add the photo ring, all we do is duplicate that color ramp. Of facing into that. And it's black. All the way to white. I just want to start tying this up, get as close as we can as possible. So 
that's the, the base of the black hole. So for the the accretion disk itself, all I do is add a cube. Let's get it down. Disk. We're not going to need the the BSDF for this either. We do want though is a principal volume. Put that into the volume channel. We want to set the density to zero and the emission to one. In this, we'll add a gradient texture. Set that to spherical. Put that into the emission color. And again, with no wrangler. Set this to object. Yeah, it's going to give us the, the base we want for creating the disk. So, after we've created that, what we're going to do is add some noise to that, really. So, the noise texture. We want to mix VB and we'll multiply. That five point three, let's whack this up to ten. In between here, if we have a ramp. So what we want to do now is we want to add, we basically want to spin this around and to do that we could use the rotation, no we can, we'll have to duplicate that, that into the, like that, into there, and we'll add a rotation in here. So, uh, a bit more space. So what we need to do is add a mix again. We want to multiply. And we can plug this straight into the rotation, but the, the multiply will... It's the wrong one, actually. So it's a map multiply. There we go, that's better. So we can plug that straight into rotation, but it will use the X, Y, and Z. It will start rotating the ways we, we don't really want, so we can combine them all together. And all we want is the, the Z axis. So we put that into Z and into rotation. And now when we play with this value, we start rotating it around. We got a fair bit of rotation. So we want to add a bit more noise. And all we need to do is duplicate that noise texture down here add a math node uh, no we'll mix to be put the color into there the vector and go into color two and there's overlay Now that adds a um, noise onto that, we 
Information Desk. So obviously there's a lot of values you can play with here. But just mess around. Uh, get what's right for, for what you're working on. So now let's go for that. Really the only thing we need to do now is just add some colour in so we can make a new colour ramp. are a bit see-through and um, I couldn't figure out how to fix the um, opacity on here so a quick workaround for that is if you add a cylinder scale that up up and we want to basically feather this out and give it the same colour so for the base colour we want something that is quite close to the, where it is Ooh, that's not it there we go. and what we do is gradient temperature very similar to what we've done for the clouds so then spherical if we isolate that as well just the material preview
and that was it i think oh uh we go into the render properties color management i did turn the the to medium con the look to medium contrast again so play with that and see which you prefer and that's it i'm gonna end the tutorial here i wanted to be really really quick with this Hopefully it helps some of you create a cool looking black hole. So uh, thanks for watching. Bye.